Welcome to the 2024 Reading is Fun Week Book Talk. I'm your host today, April Glasgow. Now, Reading is Fun Week is a week of activities designed to create a love for reading. This year's theme is Reading Transforms You. The Ministry of Education's aim is to highlight how reading can transform a person. Now, every day this week, we will talk to a new author and poet about a different book that they've written. We will get to hear excerpts from the featured books and talk about the book and the author. Come join me for today's book talk. It's Reading is Fun Week once again, and I'm encouraging everyone to read because reading empowers by opening new possibilities. Read BVRE. Read. I get a book in your hand and read BVRE. You change your future, yes, you can BVRE. Read it out loud and read it proud BVRE. Oh, BVRE. Oh, BVRE. Oh, BVRE. With me today, I have Kamal FTL Letsum, and he's going to tell us about the book he brought. So, um, I happen to be lucky enough to get the opportunity to be um, to contribute to Where I See the Sun, Contemporary Poetry in the Virgin Islands, um, edited by Lasana M. Seku. Um, I didn't initially plan to be a part of it, but someone reached out to me and I say, you know, why not? I had never been published before, so I was lucky and I got in. So yeah, that's what I brought today. Thank you. Now share with us one of your favorite pieces from the book. So I will share you with you my piece that I got um, that made it through the elimination process. It's called The Vow. As I stand here today, body shaking, mind pacing, and my heart racing, all because I am still in awe of the woman that I am currently facing. You who shined the light down the dark tunnel of love and gave me hope again. When I had just given up on the concept of real love and all I saw was pain. Thinking how could I ever possibly think of once again giving my heart to another you stepped in and offered to be my friend, my confidant, and my lover. But I was cautious, thinking I'd heard it all before, placing a do not enter sign on love's door. Yet in time, you proved me wrong as I slowly realized that I never knew a love like this before. As you took your love and used it to mend my once badly battered and broken heart, with strong and yet tender hands, you assured me that never again would you let it fall apart. And slowly I came to realize that when you were around was when I felt most alive. I'm talking about heartbeat skipping and racing squared, then multiply that by five. Now in my heart, you have earned and found your own permanent placement. And I hope and get down on my knees and pray to God that I never become complacent. See, I still don't know what good I have done to deserve such joy in this lifetime while hoping just as you do for me, I can help your heart and soul to have a brighter shine. So I vow now and in the presence of God and everyone who can hear my voice, that I shall love you, hold you, and protect you beyond forever. And that is my choice. And with God's help, I pray that we can weather any and whatever storm that may come. For you are my angel, because not from earth, but from heaven, I believe you came. From Thank you. Thank you so much, Kamal. Wow. Now, this year's theme for Reading is Fun Week is Reading Transforms You. Now, how would you say uh, the process of writing and being published has transformed you? Well, for one, um, I think after getting into this book, I continued to look at more poets and all of that. And I no longer write like how I write in this book. This book was uh, for circa 2015, 2016. And so uh, it helped develop my skills, um, I would say, a bit more um, to the point that like, as a poet, you know, I always thought like poetry is like supposed to rhyme, like that is a thing. And then the more you get into it, you realize that more advanced poetry kind of just 
brushes that aside. So um, it, it, it definitely helped. And now I have been working on a manuscript for a couple years now um, that I would like to get published because I have one in this and my hope is to have my own collection. Um, and so like, if you would allow me, I'll share a short piece from the book that I'm working on. Sure. Yes, okay. So this is called Release. It says, could you still love me when I seem weak? On days where my spine is more aluminum than adamantium, could you hold my head up? Suspension bridge your eyes to mine and travel the distance it takes to still proudly call me yours. Call me your guy, your man, your love. I promise you I'm not weak. I just know that in order to grow stronger, even muscle must be willing to release before it can contract again. Hmm. Thank you so much, Kamal. You're very welcome. And I am your host, April Glasgow. Thank you for joining me on today's book talk. Remember, this year's Reading is Fun Week theme is Reading Transforms You. Read it out loud and read it proud, BBRE. Oh, BBRE. Oh, BBRE.